For many, this is what grocery shopping looked like over the past year. Companies like Instacart, Fresh Direct, and Amazon bringing supplies right to your front door. Even traditional grocery chains stepped up their services. Monthly grocery delivery sales increased 380% from half a billion dollars before the pandemic to 2.4 billion in May. To keep up with the exploding demand, Kroger, the nation's largest grocery chain, is building high-tech fulfillment centers across the country, like this one here in Ohio. And for the very first time, our cameras are getting exclusive access to show you how they're changing the way we shop for groceries. The facility is called The Hive, and General Manager Matthew Davis showed us what's behind closed doors. Welcome to The Hive. Wow, this is incredible. Inside, 800 robots zip around this grid, packing up to 20,000 online orders daily for delivery to anyone within a 90-mile radius. So I see them up on this level, but where are they being filled? What you don't see underneath is stacked all the way from the floor to the ceiling are 21 levels of, of totes. In those totes are products ranging from bread, apples, diapers, anything that you could want. The robots can pick and pack a family's entire order in five to 10 minutes. Everything that you do walking up a grocery store, all of that is, is being maintained and in, in, in happening through these bots. It's not just bots doing the work. About 400 humans are involved in the process as well. Once the bots pick out the groceries, the order gets dropped down a chute to an associate. This is Lindsay, and she's packing the order. Then the items roll down a conveyor belt where more humans are waiting to sort them for delivery. Outside, a fleet of trucks awaits the orders. Frozen and refrigerated items loaded first into this special cold compartment, followed by the rest. Finally, the driver heads out to deliver each order, including ours, to the house we rented. Hi, delivered by Kroger for the Wynn residents. That's me. Right now, the delivery fee is $10, but Kroger says no tips are expected. Thank you so much. It's not just robots. Kroger has launched a drone delivery service for customers within a one-mile radius of this store near Dayton, Ohio. And right now, customers in that delivery area can go to this website and order a specialized bundle to be delivered right to their yard. Offerings include a headache bundle with pain medication and a sports drink, s'mores with graham crackers, marshmallows, and chocolate, and movie night with popcorn, soft drinks, and candy. For now, deliveries are free. All right, I'm going to try it with the cupcake bundle. It comes with unsalted butter, vanilla frosting, and some Funfetti cupcake mix. Boom, done. Sounds good. At the store, an employee gathers my items and packages them in this box specially designed for the drone. The weight limit? Five pounds. Then it's off to the skies, navigated by a pilot. There it is. Wow, it is massive. It's here. This is amazing. It hovers over the yard and... Bye. The frosting. I inspect my order. My cupcake mix. And my butter. Still cold. From the early active stages of drone delivery to this high-tech, high-speed fulfillment center, the future of grocery delivery has arrived. Same. Wow. Very cool. Very futuristic, right? Currently, Kroger has two operational hives, the one we showed you in Ohio, plus another one near Orlando in Florida. They have plans for six more across the country, including one in Atlanta that opens later this year. And you can expect drone delivery in a second location in California. Kroger has not said exactly which city or when just yet. Though. So many questions. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Many. All right. I'll do my best. First of all, any limitations on the, the drone delivery? Yes. So there are a few right now. The FAA is actually limiting them to one-mile flights and five-pound packages. Yeah. Drone Express, that's the company that operates the drone, they say that it is capable of flying a lot further with up to 15-pound packages, and their goal right now is just to prove they can do it safely, then they want to expand. They can't fly right now at night or in bad weather. It's yeah. about four yeah. cases yeah. of beer, I think. Wow. <laughs> that's going to be a bigger be okay. drone. Yeah. I, be right. I mean, Kroger's doing it now. I yeah. would assume it's just a matter yeah. of time before Everyone every major... catches up. That's yeah. amazing. It's, it's incredible. The technology is unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. I'm conflicted. I actually like going through the market. I, I do, too. for people who are, have, you know, crunch time and family. Yeah. But I like walking through. I like seeing the fresh fish. I like seeing a little yeah. deli. Am I going to get something for dinner tonight? Yeah. What's available? Ooh, look at the cheeses. Like, well, I like yeah. the experience. Yeah. I agree. I love going to the grocery store. It's therapeutic for me. But I will say there's a new generation. I mean, people don't even use cash anymore, Carson. Right. There's kids who don't even, what, like, coins. What are these? Yeah. Because they're so used to everything's, like, touchless or through the phone. So yeah. I don't like all that either. Yeah. I, I'm <laughs> get off my lawn. Get off my lawn. the old school. We'll pay cash. Where's our flying car? Cars. That's yeah. what I want to know. It is really cool, though. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Real cool. Wow.
Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.